This is a short video clip of one of my trading strategies. In all the examples, I will be using the Matrix Plus software to find and manage my options trades. With this series of presentations, I want to show the aspiring options trader how I go about selecting my trades and which strategies I use depending on market conditions. I use free futures charting on the web to get an overall picture of how the underlying futures contracts are trading. I also read reports and fundamental information to give me an idea of sentiment in the market for the particular commodities I'm interested in. I also follow implied volatility for the various commodity options to try and take advantage of high and low volatility periods. I trade mostly in the grains and the softs for now, but may take the occasional trade outside my comfort zone if I see something that looks like a sitting duck. This is a record of a bear call spread in the wheat market. My expectation was that because the wheat market was showing signs of weakness and the fundamental points of fundamentals pointed to a drop in prices during the next few weeks leading up to the holiday period, my strategy would be probably my strategy would probably be profitable. The idea is to set up a strategy that is limited risk and limited profit. This is accomplished by buying a call close to the money and selling another call at a lower strike slightly in the money. And the difference between the price you paid to buy the call and the premium you received for selling the call is your profit. As we shall see, the loss on this trade is also capped. First we have to load the data for the options. Here you can see the data for the 22nd of November 2013. Row 3 and 4 at the top of the spreadsheet are where we enter the parameters for our search and in our case we enter W in the SIM column because we want to find all the wheat options only. Note that in this presentation the things that I talk about will normally be circled in red. All the other parameters in rows 3 and 4 are left blank except for the words call and put. Uh, I click on step 3 and the computer churns away finding all the wheat options. Eventually we have a list of all the wheat options, their premiums and Greeks, etc. You will notice that the list of options starting at row 12 have zero days to expiry. So the, 22, so the 22nd of November was an options expiry day. Also notice at the top left that we have 1,466 wheat options in our list on this page, which includes all wheat options into the future. I'm going to click on the yellow beginner tab at the top right which will take me to a page where I can select a strategy for my trade. The beginner tab has a list of various option strategies that are suitable for those that are new to options trading. The strategies are grouped according to the market direction. So, for instance, if you are bearish about the wheat market, you can choose from the four strategies listed. I have decided that I like the bear call spread because it gives me a credit when I initiate the trade. I like having a credit in my account rather than paying money out at the beginning of a trade. I click on the strategy finder button next to the bear call spread and wait while the Matrix Plus looks for a good trade for me. Eventually it comes up with a message that asks if I want to continue the search. If I look at the options entry circled in red I see two options but they have zero days to expiry so they're no good to me. I click on yes to continue the search. Finally I'm rewarded with two options that make up my required strategy and as you can see the risk to reward is nearly even. The red line on the graph shows the profit and loss on expiry depending on where the futures ends up. Anywhere above 660 and I have to take a maximum loss of about $150. Anywhere below 655 and I make my maximum profit of just over a hundred dollars. Remember this is using the data from the close on the Friday and I will have to wait until Monday before I can initiate my trade. The two pink bars on the chart are the strikes and the blue bar represents the futures price on entry to the trade. If I return to the sort page I can see the two options highlighted and notice that I am likely to get my orders filled because there was volume of 234 
and 67. Remember that what we have seen up to now is the data for the end of the trading on the Friday. So on Monday I place my order to buy the 660 strike and I sell the 655 strike. These are filled during the day and my fills are I'm long the 660 and I paid a premium of 700 and I'm short the 655 where I collected a premium of 825. I enter these real values with 32 days to expiry and my graph now shows me my potential profit of $125 and a potential loss of 125 As long as the futures moves down below 655 I will make my maximum profit. The red line on the graph, uh, read it on the right hand vertical axis, is the profit and loss of the strategy and the black line, read the left hand vertical axis, is the closing futures price. I follow the trade every day and initially I go about $25 into the red, but then the trade recovers and starts to make a profit 10 days later. Eventually I could take my profit on the 18th of December with 9 days still to go. Or I could just leave the trade to expiry and keep my winnings. As you can see, as the futures price declined, so my strategy made more money until it reached the maximum profit of $125. This concludes the short presentation, which I hope you have found informative. I will be producing more video clips to demonstrate some other trades that I have taken. If you'd like to contact me, my email is in the pink box at the lower right of the screen. Until next time, thanks for watching.